Hey there guys, this is John T. I'm back with another video. So as you can see the starting amount is around 1.2 million and I'm gonna show you a few tricks that I do normally every day to try and make some more and more amount. So most of the times I'm doing the headhunter mission, it pops up after like through a, uh, three or four minutes. If you are a VIP, you need to have a business office in order to do that so after that go to the nightclub and you have to keep the nightclub promotion up so that you keep on making the 70,000 odd amount after a few hours so let's uh, try to finish up the nightclub sale first I had a friend helping me out so he's just uh, pulling up the van on the side so that we get the amount for the nightclub as well for the sale so there you go we get $93,889 which takes the total sales to $136,000 and after that I was not able to finish the VIP work but we still got $15,000 out of that as well so I'm just gonna keep on adding everything that we do so that we get to a total amount as well in the end. So there you go, another twenty-one thousand for the Bad Hunter mission. In the meanwhile, if you have a terabyte of gold, you can add that to the list to the cycle of missions. I did the, I got the diamond shipment mission. Got me around thirty thousand. Takes the total sales to two hundred three thousand. Then we do the side seer mission now that this is a mission that you can get with the vip business office after that we go for another mission now this time it's going to be robbery in progress from terabyte so this is basically a very good cycle as well even if you don't have the other businesses you can just keep on doing the vip mission and the terabyte mission then you should be able to make good amount of hourly cash as well so there you go we got 32,000 out of this one takes the total sales to 258,000 another headhunter mission and 21,000 in the back I know it's kind of monotonous but it's better than the heists if you're thinking about making some run from the heists it's, this is better because the heist would only give you around 600 700,000 for your share even if you're thinking about the casino heist or even the, the even the pacific standard heist you get a maximum 1 million 1 1.2 okay. that you have to divide and you know, other people as well so this is something that you're getting by yourself you don't really have to share this with any other person. So there you go, 380,000 all the way. Another 21,000 that we have to add to the list. 400,000 is the total amount. Let's go back to the bunker. So for the bunker, sometimes they do the supply mission, sometimes I just buy the stuff. So this time we decided to do a supply mission because I had a friend helping me out as well. It's easier if other people are helping you out. If they're not helping you out, just go ahead and purchase them out, no problem. So there you go, after that I start a sales mission. Now this one is a particularly easy mission to go do because all you have to do is to take the just take the insurgent to one location. And I got 173,000 out of it. So the total sales are 574,849. Already 500,000 in the back. Let's try to make a sale for the car. Hey, 
So I didn't really take a lot of damage on the T20. It's gonna be ninety nine thousand three hundred eighty dollars. Then after that, again, we repeat the uh, headhunter mission. You know, the buzzard is a very, very helpful helicopter with these kind of mission as well because. It spawns up right away, right next to you once you're a VIP. So you don't really have to worry about a lot of stuff. Getting to a lot of places. With this helicopter. Alright, so this is another diamond shopping mission. <laughs> I just added the $21 as well because I picked those up. I picked up another $30 but I'm not really adding that. I just added the $21 for fun. Anyways, 31,000 there. So, 727,250 dollars already. In the meanwhile, we keep on delivering new cars to the import export business after 20 odd mess so that we can try to make a sale of the same car. It's all or nothing on this one. The work wasn't cheap. Get the car. And don't worry if you're alone in the lobby, just don't wait up for. Or just don't try to kill the dealers who try to you know attack you just keep on taking the car because if you're fast enough they would not get you but give you a lot of damage anyway so this is a promotional mission for the nightclub because the popularity is kind of down so let's try to do this as well it's not going to be very difficult just have to take this van to the business once you do this, you get in between three thousand to four thousand dollars. So I forgot to note how much I got, but I'm counting four hundred four thousand dollars for the nightclub popularity mission. After that, I had to help a friend out for this Avenger mission in a heist. So got paid twenty eight thousand five hundred for that as well. So just added both the amounts four thousand and twenty eight thousand five hundred to the list as well. 20,500 for the headhunter, that's 880,000. Another car delivery mission where we have to steal the car and take it back to the business. This time it's a mid range vehicle, so I'm not really going to sell this, I'm just going to put this in the vehicle garage so that we don't really have to do this mission again. And we keep on getting the top range vehicles. It's so another headhunter mission. I had a few people helping me out with this one as well. They actually left right after doing the mission, so I know what happened. Anyway, 20,500. For this one as well so we're closing to the a million mark normally my target is a million in every four hours when sometimes do this kind of work so and that is normally how I make the money as well if you're alone in the lobby you can make a million in like three to four hours no problem doing these kind of uh, these kind of missions as well so I just added the special cargo as well to the list. I'm trying to do some special cargo missions as well while we have to wait. And you can see a boost in the cash right now because I'm at 3 million at the moment. It's because I was live streaming yesterday as well. So some of the... I was not really recording at that time so... That's why there's a boost in the total number of cash as well, but it's okay. We're not really counting the amount that I did in the live stream. I'm, I'll, I'll just show you the total amount that I made afterwards, but right now the sales that we're counting at the moment are only the sales that I'm showing you in the missions. So since it was a wait on the car delivery, I just decided to do another special cargo mission. There you go, we just have to take a van to the business and we can sell it later whenever we want.
You don't really have to accumulate too much on the special cargo or even the bunker. Just try to sell it once you're close to 140, 150k because if you lose an amount once somebody tries to destroy your work, you're not gonna feel it that much. So it's it's um I just keep it around 140, 150k once I try to make those sales. Alright, this is one of uh kind of more technical processes that you have to do, you have to pick up the car from the container there so we did not really get a lot of damage like 1739 it's okay not a problem so let's just put the car inside and then try to make a sale of it as well There you go, the car is inside. And I had an Osiris as well inside the okay, after what we put into this one. Inside the warehouse. So let's just try to make a sale of this one as well first. $99,380. In the back. So we are we have crossed the million mark. Let's try to do a bunker sale at the moment. So this time since I was just doing the stuff alone, I just bought the supplies instead of like stealing them and let's try to make the sale. Again I get the same type of mission where we just have to drop off the insurgent at this location and we should be getting the amount very soon. There you go, $200,010. I'm sorry, 21. $210,000, I'm sorry. Alright, so another headhunter mission. 21000 in the bag. Let's just keep on piling the cash. So after this delivery mission, I'm going to do a sales mission as well for the business cargo. Let's try to make 145000 Now since I'm alone in the lobby, luckily, I would not be getting the high demand bonus. I suggest if you have a buzzer, just put the buzzer here because uh, once you are alone, there's some people trying to attack you as well. And once they keep on attacking you, they will actually hit the buzzer instead of you so you can save some health and armor. They actually did blow up the bu buzzer as well. So there you go, we made the sale. And that's 145,000 in the back. Let's try to put that in the bank as well because some some missions you do that's not really automatically put the cash in the back. Twenty thousand five hundred for the sale. Just wanted to show you the stunt that I did. Well, I was trying to <laughs> boost this eight one one. Now this is a very good handling car. I actually want to buy this as one as well from the Bennies whenever I get the chance. Alright people, let's get this over the line. The quote is for no damage. Get to the buyer like... There you go, another delivery completed. Got some damage here, but still got 95,000 out of it. So 1.5 million already done. Another 21,000 in the bag. So this is the kind of thing that you can do on daily business. Um, I would say that try to invest some more money in the businesses that you okay, can get instead of Investing in cars and stuff, you can get that later. But first, I get the businesses, all types of businesses that you can get. Um, you you can avoid the hangar if you don't really care about it because hangar would give you some access to store the planes. Otherwise, it's um, I don't really use the hangar because with the hangar, the missions are kind of lengthy, and you actually need some other people helping you out as well. Otherwise, you know the missions take too long and. It's not really, uh, even the sales missions are not really easy to do. 
so this is the last mission for the day that I'm going to do the nightclub sale and actually what happened was that once I finished it I got disconnected so I'm not too sure if that's going to register in the overall number of sales or not but this is the amount that I made 1.7 million in the whole session it took me around uh, 6 to 7 hours to do it and this is the total difference 2.5 million in the amount that started and the, and the one that ended so with that John TM signing out you have a nice day thank you for listening and watching